now we have confirmatory tests and explanations so first of all let us discuss chloride ion the first confirmatory test is take the salt containing chloride ion plus manganese dioxide mno2 plus concentrated h2so4 and heat it a yellow green gas that is chlorine is evolved which is brought in contact with a starch iodide paper it develops blue spots on the filter paper the redox reactions are 2 electron plus 4h ion plus mn2 giving mn2 plus plus 2h2 and the second half is 2 chloride ion giving cl2 plus 2 electron add the two half so we get 4h ion plus mn2 there that is a black substance plus 2 chloride ion on heating we get cl2 gas that say yellow green gas plus mn2 plus plus 2 h2o so in fact we can consider this to be a general reaction for chloride ion bromide ion and iodide ion next cl2 plus 2 i minus on a starch iodide paper that gives iodine plus 2 chloride ion the i2 thus liberated immediately reacts with the starch to give blue iodine starch complex the second confirmatory test is take the salt containing chloride ion to that add silver nitrate aqueous we get a white curdy precipitate of silver chloride which is insoluble in dilute hno3 but soluble in dilute aqueous ammonia the reactions are cl minus plus ag plus we get agcl and then agcl plus 2 ns3 we get a soluble cationic complex ag ns3 hold 2 plus plus chloride ion silver chloride precipitate is also soluble in potassium cyanide and Na2S2O3 solutions third a very important confirmatory test for chloride ion is chromyle chloride test here we take the salt containing chloride ion to that add concentrated sulfuric acid and potassium dichromate and heat the mixture deep red vapors are produced pass these vapors in anaerobic solution the solution becomes yellow to that yellow solution add lead ions or barium ions then a yellow precipitate is formed then a yellow precipitate is obtained the non redox reactions involved are 4 chloride ion plus cr2o7 2 minus plus 6h plus that's giving us 2 cro2 cl2 gas plus 3 h2o the cro2 cl2 gas is deep red vapors its name is chromyl chloride cro2 cl2 plus 4 oh minus that gives cro4 2 minus h plus it's a yellow colored solution of chromate ions plus 2 chloride ions plus 2 h2o finally barium ions or lead ions react with chromate ions to give lead chromate that's a yellow precipitate or it may be a barium chromate here is another important note the first part of that a is this test is not given by bromide iodide and fluoride because k2cr2o7 oxidizes bromide and iodide into bromine and iodine respectively and these form colorless solutions in anaoh fluoride ions of course can form cro2f2 but it is easily decomposed by water 
the B part of the knot is this test is not given by mercury chloride due to its low degree of ionization. The C part of the knot is insoluble chlorides like Fg2Cl2, AgCl, PbCl2 etc. also do not give this test.